one day, when I was in the car with my dad, I saw people shipping cars and trucks to different countries. Oh, by the way, I'm Jude Halabi. I'm a 10 year old boy. Well, I want to continue. Then I wondered if these people slept. No, actually, they don't. Sometimes they don't even sleep for your two days. Therefore, I asked my dad, Hmm, what are the rules for driving a truck? He said that truck drivers can drive up to 14 hours while taking breaks. You know that is a very, very long time? Yeah. Hmm. And also, based on research by the European Transport Safety Council, 60% of truck drivers and 66% of bus and coach drivers said they had to drive while fatigued on a regular basis. It is really tiring. And did you know that almost 800 drivers said they nearly crashed and caused a major road collision due to driver fatigue? Driver fatigue is really dangerous. That is why. We must consider adopting technologies such as electric trucks and buses with autopilots that use solar energy to move rather than fuel. Yes, but that will help us reduce the amount of pollution we make every single day and help us solve the environmental problem. Yes, I hate pollution, anti-pollution. On the other hand, the truck driver will be able to rest and have some break time while at the same time avoiding accidents. Yes, but that doesn't mean we don't need human supervision. Human supervision is very cryptic. Guys, the primary objective of this technology is to assist truck drivers, not replace them. But I was curious how a truck works. I was sure it will be based on technology. Hmm. I discovered that those sticky parts function by coding. How did I discover? Because I was part of a coding academy called Geek Express, and there I learned a few things about coding with them. Now I will call my autopilot truck safe, because it will help us save our dying planet. Yuppie, yuppie, yuppie. But do you want to know what it has? Of course, it has installed software for roadmaps, and 14 ultrasonic sensors and 14 cameras detecting nearby vehicles all around me. Plus, it has a color sensor detecting the colors of the traffic light. How cool is that? And instructions will be sent to the truck's actuator in order to accelerate or take a break. Did you know that a truck rarely changes lanes? So it has less amount of percentage to do an accident. But if you're wondering if there was an emergency, of course, there will be an alarm displayed on the touch screen to notify or wake the driver up in case he's sleeping to take decisions in case of an emergency, of course. So we are always safe. Hmm, don't you think safe can help us solve a bit of our road problems? Shoot Halabi. Thank you for hearing my script.